The Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia. It was a busy day in Superior Court. Nearly two dozen accused mobsters and associates were arraigned one by one after being indicted in what state investigators call a massive gambling ring. Target 12 investigator Tim White was in court, and he's here now with the details. It's important to note that this is a completely separate case from the sweeping federal probe that put the reputed former boss behind bars. But for those who follow these reports closely, you will see some familiar faces. Good name. Right, Investigators say he was once a feared enforcer in the New England mob, and at 68 years old, state police say Frank Bobo Marapisi still used threats and intimidation to carry out crimes in an alleged gambling ring. Marapisi pleaded not guilty to seven counts, including RICO conspiracy and extortion. Throughout the day, a parade of defendants were brought before Judge Daniel Procaccini, including ten accused bookmakers. State investigators say this man, Vincent Tutsi Tallo, ran the show. Prosecutors say they wiretapped his phone and intercepted dozens of conversations that revealed illegal gambling and drug dealing. Two accused high-ranking mobsters charged in this case did not appear in court Wednesday. Edward Eddie Lato and Alfred Chippy Scavola are being held at the Wyatt Detention Center, awaiting trial in a separate federal organized crime case. Most defendants made bail except for Marapisi, who is being held on a parole violation. He was released from prison in 2008 after serving almost 30 years for a gangland slaying. One defendant, Christopher DeSanto, was a no-show, so the judge issued a warrant for his arrest. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.